everybody. Let me just turn down the audio a little because it's loud as fuck. I don't want that stuff to be terrible. What's this? Ooh. Okay. So, good day and welcome to Helldivers. It's the Steam Summer Sale and I decided to get this game. It's 15 bucks for the deluxe edition and apparently it's got a whole lot of shit going on. So if you're into games like Magicka, have a couple of friends who would love to play this game with you. This is a must buy. Uh, if you like this sort of game that is. Um, if you do not like twin sticks and just close the video already and go do something fun. If you do like twin sticks but don't have any friends playing this game, well, you can always just join randoms. Um, there's a sir, matchmaking sir. system down here which allows you to join a mission that is actually. Um, oh, look at that. You can join a mission that is. Um, that fits your rank so this guy here is doing something over there you can see that on the map here there's three people doing this mission um, there are well let's just jump in shall we I'll go join these guys because I haven't played multiplayer yet teleport boot field oh okay and now what teleport field returning to ship yeah um, okay. so don't know what happened there but Great first impression, right? Um, let's see, six very challenging, three easy. There's only one guy here. Let's join this guy. Calculating teleport matrix, establishing connection between ships. Teleport ready, initiating. Okay, um, not quite sure what the mission is, but we'll just go with my regular stuff. I'm using the Humble B fully maxed because it's awesome. Uh, it allows me to find samples. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, uh. Stand by. Equipment on its way. Dropping equipment. Repeat. Dropping equipment. Dropping equipment. This is a uh, random match with a random player. I have no. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. Defensive equipment inbound. Stand by. Equipment on its way. Stand by. Equipment on its way. So I'm currently so swimming for... for... God damn it, what's the... Oh, someone's uh -huh. swimming. I don't know. Currently sweeping for currently sweeping explosives. For explosives? It's slow, tedious. Slow, tedious. Turn on push to talk maybe. Turn on push to talk maybe. I can hear myself over your hear myself over speaker your scaro. Speaker scaro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it's on all the time. 
Oh, it's no uh, biggie. It's no I'm biggie. recording a video. I'm recording a video on YouTube. Okay. Are you new to the game as well? Are you new to the game as well? Yeah. And you know it? how it turns good it? to talk. Yeah, totally. You know how I can. Ah. Oh. Just push to talk. Um, yeah, I thought I had pushed the yeah, talk on myself. Yeah, I thought I had pushed the talk on myself. Yeah, you do. Enemies. Oh, enemies. Oh, yeah. shit. Shit. Equipment on its way. Um, I will try to get push the turret on. Okay. Okay. Um. It's uh, it's no biggie. It's, uh, it's no biggie. They've got your mech. Where's that last one? Ah, you. Oh shit. Dude. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so where to now? Oh, I've got the upgraded humble bee by the way, so if you need samples. Dropping equipment. Ah. Reloading. It's uh yeah, there's a couple of samples nearby. Here's one. Do you want it? Uh, let's see, there's more. Get some! Ah, oh, hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Freedom! Got pushed the car. See, there's um, another sample over here. Can I have this one? Sure. Yeah, I just got Freedom. one, so you take it. Do you have the deluxe edition? Reloading. I have the the edition with all the. You need to get some ammo, man. You're in your last clip. You're in your last clip. Stand by. Equipment on its way. Did you get? Did you get some of that as well? Sorry. You're not a new player, or? Uh, yeah, I got the game yesterday. But I'm familiar with the with the game, as I also played Magicka. Freedom delivery! I played Aliens one before, but this one seems much more polished. Okay, we're okay. ready to extract. Reloading. Oh, take the the last one as well. You can have uh, twelve clips in total. Oh. And if you got the delu uh, deluxe edition, I can seriously recommend upgrading Humble B to Max. Because it uh, lets you find samples more quickly. Oh, and never drop two turrets next to each other. <laughs> I, each I other. did that I, once, I did and they one. basically... Freedom! Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. Defensive equipment ETA inbound. Minus one minute thirty seconds. Uh, Defensive stratagem incoming. Say hello to democracy. Freedom. For liberty. Freedom. Drop 
Dropping request confirmed. T minus one minute. I once dropped two turrets quite near each other, and they uh, one just shot the other one. Hold out. T minus 30 seconds. So it is easy mode now. <laughs> yeah. But I did some missions on my own, two or three, and I failed every. Oh really? Hell diver deployed to combat zone. Yeah, I didn't do seconds. anything. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. No T minus ten uh, seconds. Look, we got another guy incoming. Just piggy bagging the last four T seconds to get seconds. some experience. I bet. Shuttle arriving. There you go. Everybody in. Congratulations! That's two ranks in one game. Nice. Sir. <laughs> so that's it for me for now. Uh, thanks for helping me show off the party uh, thingy, and have a good one. Uh, you can add me to your friends if you like, and we'll play some more at some later time. So, that's the Sir. multiplayer bit. Um, apart from multiplayer, you've got quite a uh, well. Um, you can just match make, but you can also join your friends if you have friends to play with. Yeah, it's up to four player co op. Uh, it's always called never PvP, although friendly fire is also always on as you may have noticed I got shot by the guy in his mech uh, You've got quite a few upgrades uh, weapons things you can unlock by playing um, There there's a ton of uh, DLCs uh, right now you can get all of them which add some quite cool things like uh, this one is a DLC uh, drone but it has the, the the great bit of showing samples which allow for collecting more research points the DLC are completely uh, optional you don't have to have them to have a good time uh, they add some more fun uh, but that's pretty much it uh, this is also a part of the DLC and this one is has got the community uh, community quite divided um, about whether or not this is a uh, pay to win. But then again, because it's PVE, I would never say it's pay to win. It's because you're you'll be helping others, and there's no actual winning compared to how others perform. There's uh, there's no way that there, there's no PvP component. It's friendly fire is on, sure, but there's no actual PvP component. Um, there's quite a few 
statistics being kept and uh, a lot of customization there's uh, a whole bunch of ranking we can go over here and if we look at this is the one we just did you get two times double experience which is great um, yes I can leave the planet and then I can go to this place and you can see here the Warfront heroes this is the combined influence that people have gathered now you see this Chris guy here he's rank 45 I'm rank 7 and he's got 15k influence which makes him pretty much the top player in, uh, in every faction there are three enemy factions as you can see here and they're just different uh, types of creatures you got the bugs the illuminate and the cyborg we just fought some bugs so i'm gonna show you a single player mission fighting some cyborgs and there's also this fun little thing where i can do this one now and have not quite sure how this exactly works but if I complete this planet I get the rep 80 no idea what it is but I get it and that that's fun I guess so you can go to other planets and this one gives me a 500 experience boost this one the obliterator grenade launcher real cannon strike airdrop stun mines uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can get by just completing planets every planet has a couple of missions and you play through uh, two missions in this case and then you get the planet reward and you get experience for every mission and between missions you go back to your ship so I'm gonna play this one you see here the ship is flying to the, the planet and then the planet shows up Hellport launch sequence initiated crew to stations I now I can select a drop zone stations. and I can pretty much drop anywhere I like um, because this one has me carrying a briefcase I like to do that first also the most optimal path is like that so I'm gonna drop myself in this corner here I like dropping in a corner because then I'm not completely surrounded right away uh, I made a mistake once and well it wasn't really a mistake Mission commencing. I once dropped down to the planet and I got killed right away by some lava danger thing spewing from the ground <laughs> I had no way of knowing that beforehand but that's part of the fun apparently planets get more difficult as you, uh, as you continue playing so these are the stratagems the menu that I pop up now and they basically allow me stand by equipment on its way supplies incoming ask for support drops okay there we have my drones and now I can see the enemy and they're quite near I'm gonna collect these samples that I saw here first because as I already explained these samples oh. Holy shit! Reload! that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go over here and collect the briefcase now and let's throw out the drone the drone stand by only equipment on its way 
allow me to see it, see samples. It also allows me to see patrols from further away. Now, if you're playing a sneak type, then that actually might help you. Okay, so I just need to go this way. Luckily, it's nearby this time. Um, everything is procedurally generated, so where the mission might be, where you have to go, etc., is quite random, and sometimes you have to go quite far. Thank you. Uh, thank you to my drone for saving my fucking life. And that's why I can really recommend getting the guard dog drone when you're trying to solo these types of missions. Uh, just like the turret, it's just... They're, they're really good for soloing. Okay, so we got the Sam. I'm gonna go just ignore these guys for a sec. And I'm gonna drop my turret right about there. Defensive here. stratagem incoming. Out of out of my cup of liberty! How would you like to take the freedom? No. Your turret can actually kill you as well, so... Freedom! Dropping equipment. Repeat. Dropping liberty. equipment. Okay, so we got this one done. Reload! And now, let's go here collect some more samples and then we extract pretty much the mission is done now look at that there's something over there I'm not quite sure what it is but yeah, I'm gonna go fetch that oh it's a, a place where you can't It's a place where you can't uh, use any stratagems. So the game does get more difficult as you continue playing. Um, there's something over here. I'm gonna just have a look because. Reload. Look at that, it's a full restart. The game looks good, it plays very well on my system at least. Uh, got the settings maxed I think. And it's running at a very solid 60 FPS. But it's, uh, it's not very demanding. Stand by, equipment on its way. Get those last samples before extraction. Right around the corner. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I actually really like these types of games. Um, they're best played with friends, that's for sure. Um, but the community is pretty great because there's a sale going on. There's a ton of people playing. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Yesterday there were like 2k players in total. Game of a level or a mission and it takes a little longer. 
So it's always good when you're playing this solo to have turrets with you. Just uh, take care not to stand in front of your turret. Oh, and also stay clear of this shuttle. I've been killed by it once. Stick too close and it landed on my face. Hunter for us! I also love the sound effects, like the guy shouting all these uh, one-liners. It's it's all just very minus 30 humorous. seconds. Space wheels, I'm hearing. ET T minus ten seconds. T minus five seconds. Shuttle arriving. And there we go. Well, that's basically the game. Uh, there are a couple of varying, varying uh, planets. Uh, there are three different factions and there are a lot of different enemies so as you progress you you, uh, you experience more and more variation uh, I believe at least I'll look at that two research points I'll uh, go show you the encyclopedia quickly um, I always still have another mission to go so this is the tactical manual, but here we have the bugs. I've only seen two, the scout and the warrior, and there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, that's eleven or ten different uh, enemy types for the bugs. Then we've got the illuminate. I haven't even seen this one, but okay, so it's got a quite a few more. And we've got the cyborg. So, um, apparently, I've now discovered the comrade for the first time as well. So, when I just started, it was just the initiate and the squad leader. Then, uh, when I was like rank 3, we got the Im uh, emulator to drop in as well. And apparently, now we have the comrade. The hound uh, showed up at one point as well. Uh, can't remember when that was. It was, I think, my third mission or something. So that's the encyclopedia. And then you have the upgrade system that I already showed you a little. I'm gonna go unlock something else. Upgrade something. Like this one. This. It, the guard dog is just awesome, so you gotta have it when you play solo. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna complete this mission as well, real quick. Uh, for the video, so that you can see what happens when you complete a crew to stations. I repeat, with the crew to stations. Keep my uh, loadout. Mission commencing. Okay, Akirt, Akirt, three. So we're just starting, so I'm gonna call in this thing. Dropping equipment. This thing. Equipment on its way. This thing. So the drone. Equipment on its way. The, um, the guard dog only has one use, but it recharges because you're wearing a backpack. Because you're wearing a backpack, and so when it's empty or low, it's just gonna recharge. Okay, so we're gonna go here first. 
first. Equipment inbound. The best spot for it. So there's a trick to throwing these things as well, aiming them, etc. I'm not that good at it yet. Oh, that was very quick. I'm just gonna leave it here. Just leave that thing shooting stuff over there. That's, that's fun. Might actually draw some enemies away from me. I don't know. So the humble bee is great because stand it by. Has a very Equipment low on its way. It doesn't. Uh, it, it just helps you. The only problem with it, obviously, is that it's uh, well, very low support. Uh, it doesn't offer anything except for eyes in the sky, and it does take up a stretch uh, slot, so it really depends on your playstyle if it suits your needs. But it allows for collecting these samples more effectively, and that's to me always a great thing. Let's, uh... Reload. Oh, and if you reload uh, with bullets in your magazine, in your clip, you actually you actually lose those bullets. So you get a completely fresh magazine and you drop the remaining bullets which is obviously a very uh, cool thing I, I like that type of mechanic okay oh shit you have to do this one like that. Reload. Gonna... equipment on its way uh, you get better at these uh, combinations. Oh shit. reset because I didn't interact with it. <sighs> so this is kind of why you want turrets, but because I'm soloing this, I need to keep Reload. my turret for the last bit as well. Freedom delivery! Supplies incoming. Throwing grenade. Agent scumbag. Uh, 
I'm um, not quite sure whether or not they are, the patrols actually follow me. They won't call back up until... Uh, until they actually... Until they're actually on you, so... I'm not quite sure how to rotate the camera either. I'm not even sure if it's possible to. Dropping equipment. Just wanna make sure I got the last one. Yep. So let's go here. And we extract and complete the planet. Hurry. Defensive stratagem incoming. Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. ETA T minus one minute thirty seconds. Right. Dropping equipment. Repeat. Dropping equipment. Go hit the floor. Just lay next to it, and it'll shoot over my head. It's the safe way. <laughs> Then I really like the animations as well. The thing is super play. quick, so that adds a little bit of realism. Hold out. T minus 30 seconds. How do you like the taste of freedom? Uh, how he responds to your movement. Um, well, not the wasd, but the mouse, like the aiming. He's not instantly aiming at the. ETA T minus 15 seconds. You're trying to shoot. T minus 10 seconds. The same goes for the turret. ETA T minus 5 seconds. Reloading. Shuttle arriving! Oh shit. <laughs> Do not stand underneath the turret. Here you go. So, I really enjoy this game. It's fun. It's, uh, it's a huge mess. Uh, the multiplayer seems alright. People seem to be rather friendly. Uh, you just drop in, and it's okay. So um, yeah, if you're if you're into these kinds of games, definitely check it out on Steam it, because of the summer sale. And I'm not sure how you feel about it, but the summer sale to me is a huge disappointment. Um, the games that I really feel like, oh, I'd love to try that, are still too expensive. And the games that I kind of want to play, but mostly in a co-op um, setting, well, you really have to have friends like this game and same with Battle Block Theater. Battle Bo and Block Theater is on sale for five bucks for two copies, which is great sale, but you need to have a friend to play it with. And that's the same problem with this game. If you do not have uh, any friends to play it with then there's no reason why you pick this up uh, I've actually got a friend who's uh, also we've acquired it up, a so new strategy we'll end up playing together a few times at least and I 
as you noticed, the multiplayer is pretty decent. That is an awesome piece of equipment. Capable of repairing damaged vehicles as well as mending flesh. Although is proficient with the rep 80 e are much loved by their comrades. No one enjoys to die. Okay. So, that's something. Not quite sure what it does, but it does something. Um, got one more point. Um, this is the sidearm. And you can't actually equip a different sidearm apart from using a perk but I like the laser aim and I'll, I might actually switch to the altering boots at one point but uh, because I'm gonna use this one as a sidearm I think I should upgrade it not quite sure if I need the armored targets thingy just yet go for the extended magazine burst fire so uh, that's uh, hell divers for you I hope you oh uh, let's go look over here for a second as you can see 2,000 hell divers online and yeah it's um, this is the galactic campaign as they call it which basically this is where you play the game and there are two different well actually three different situations possible um, here they're taking over the bug homeworld and either they succeed or they fail there's a limited amount of time to complete this um, let's see yeah 31 hours here they're doing the Illuminate homeworld it's got the same countdown and this is the uh, is a region now as they progress through the region we just completed this planet so now we've got a new planet Exo Walker exosuit um, so as you as they progress through the regions they, they you get time to uh, clear it and then you assault the homeworld now for the homeworld you need to do uh, quite uh, missions that are a little bit more difficult. Um, I'll show that over here. So you go to the planet and then you have the well, low enemy, medium enemy, high enemy, uh, enemy and very high enemy presence. You do the missions and uh, that'll earn you some influence and if you uh, complete the, the home world then that's that bit is done but you ne need to do that with as a community with all three factions and if you fail they push back and take over uh, the region so you have to go through clearing the regions again before you can assault the home world again so depending on uh, your level in the game, your rank and uh, the difficulty you enjoy playing at you'll either end up playing the same easy mission the low enemy presence mission rank for rank 3 and higher on the, the home worlds or you go to a region and here you have a multiple different planets to go through so this is this is forest, I've never played forest before. And then you have desert, a volcanic, desert, desert, forest. So that's basically your three types of planet. Uh, there's ice as well. The volcanic is fun. Um, but yeah, that that's basically the game. So, um, thanks for watching. Sorry, it was quite a mess. Got distracted. Uh, I get distracted quite easily when playing these games where there's so much to see and tell yeah uh, thanks for watching and see you next time leave your comments questions below in the comments like and subscribe if you like the video dislike if you don't but if you dislike please comment down below why so that I can learn and improve have a great day